Here is everything new in iOS 13, Beta 3. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and let's jump in with everything new in Beta 3. Starting out in the Home app, there's a new welcome screen that lets you know your current cameras don't yet support secure recording, though they may once iOS 13 launches and the manufacturer issues an update. We also have a slightly tweaked animation for when you're jumping into a tile here inside of the home app. It is tweaked and it depends on where they are placed on the screen. In iOS 13, Apple grouped multi-sensors together. So instead of being three separate accessories, you have your humidity, light, and presence sensors all as one accessory group. With iOS 13 beta 3, they are still grouped together, but now they have a new generic icon that just shows the number of sensors that are available instead of perhaps what one of them is or what the type of sensor is. Inside of the Reminders app, you can now show or hide completed on a per list basis. Before you could do it just in general, but now it works individually within each list. So in family, I am showing and in my comedians list, I am hiding the additional checked off items. If we go into the App Store, we used to have that tab there on that right for Arcade. That is still there, but in Beta 3, we have a bunch more information, new teasers, graphics, images, a little video playing here at the top. So a lot of new teasing elements for Apple Arcade, which will be launching this fall. There's also a little notify button on each of these individual cards. Tapping that will jump you right over to the Apple Arcade website and allow you to sign up to get notified when Apple Arcade launches. You can also just keep your eyes peeled here to Apple Insider for all the latest news on Apple Arcade. We now venture to the Notes app, which has a new What's New screen highlighting gallery view, new checklist options such as to move the checked off items to the bottom of the list, and shared folders. Inside of the Health app, Apple now provides a little bit more analysis on your health and how you're doing, such as trends and highlights. And that has been tweaked a little bit here in Beta 3, at least as far as we can tell. We now have these new graphs that are actually showing our progress over time, showing we're taking more steps, being more active, burning more calories, working out a little bit longer. So really that positive trends inside of our summary. Those used to be simple bar graphs for us in Beta 2. If we go into settings, and this is big, especially for iPad users, Apple has tweaked the ability to control their cursor size for an external mouse. So if you connect a Bluetooth or wired mouse to your iPhone or iPad in iOS 13, you can now adjust the cursor size there at the top. So you have new options becoming available as Apple continues to work on external mouse support for iOS 13. We can also jump down into FaceTime settings, and this is for the 10s and 10s Max. There's a new option for FaceTime attention correction. Toggling this on says your eye contact with the camera will be more accurate during FaceTime video calls. So perhaps adjust the perspective so you're looking more at the camera. Memoji stickers have been tweaked, including the ones with the shirt. It's a little bit lighter of a shirt option, and the one center bottom also looks a little bit different with the eyes slightly wider. And lastly, when we are checking out our emergency contacts in the contact app, we have a new designator on that right hand side, letting us know which one is our emergency contact. So what do you guys think? Let us know down below in the comments. And if you find anything else new, let me know on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys want to see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.